am recording my new album and if you want to know what that sounds like, keep watching! Hello! Hello! This is my producer, Gilbert! Hi there! <laughs> my album will almost only consist of little snaps. <laughs> Let's record more! Thanks for watching! See you next week! Very funny, Patty. Now, actual answers. So what is this album even about? For myself, as a working title, I call it the Tavern Album, because it has the mood of being inside a tavern with your friends and celebrating. And it's really important to me that it's not about drinking and it's not about drinking songs. It's about community and being together. It contains tons of songs and tunes to be sung together or also as some solos. And I probably also have on one side the funniest little tune on that album as well as a song with what I think to be the best and craziest chorus I have ever written. I can't wait for you to hear it. Uh, the last song was a bit short. <laughs> Sorry, I need another one. I need one more take. Okay. Okay? Yes. Is it okay when, when I hold it like this? It's okay, yeah? <laughs> Good dog. <laughs> For the next scene, I have the Charlies. The Charlies? Isn't there a proper name for Charlies in English? I don't know the English name of those, but it's basically, it's a natural material. It's like the outer shells of some seeds or something from a plant. I have no idea. If you know it, put it in the comments. And also don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> Let's record <laughs> the Charlies. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want the small Charlies or the big Charlies? <laughs> um, can you play them separately? Just, uh, nah. Together? I guess together. Yes. It was 20 euros. I just found the price tag. <laughs> <laughs> the small ones or the big ones? The big ones. Okay. I think that's... Really good. That's good. 20 years, I, I take him. <laughs> <laughs> take my money. Since you all know that I am an independent artist and I have no financing other than myself <laughs> I opened a new patreon tier to support this new album you can see it on www.patreon.com slash and if you subscribe to that tier then your name will be in the album booklet of that upcoming album so if you want that better subscribe now Let's do the other percussion. Yeah. Oh yes. <laughs> Next <laughs> we have some actual bones. <laughs> Those two misters are coming on my album. <laughs> they have been dead for a long time and my mother got them on a flea market ages ago. So yeah, no idea where. Maybe they are brothers, sisters, or probably not. Just but, related. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but the good thing is, this one has some little bumps. I don't know how to call them on the antler here, and I'm just gonna use it to make some of those sounds. Sounds I'm getting better very... at playing the antler. <laughs> Could be a professional live musician, Antlerist. just <laughs> antlerist. <laughs> <laughs>
I have to play it wrong on purpose because I'm lacking two semitones. Uh, and we're adding them... In post. <laughs> <laughs> we're editing them in post. Yeah. I'm not very... Trouve. <laughs> No, actually, with the folk music, you do that a lot in the studio. It's not no. Yes. No. no. <laughs> we do not edit. No, no. <laughs> Especially bagpipes. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> See, the internet has some kind of issue with roasting bagpipes. Roasting bagpipes? Yes, but everybody does that. But why? For a good reason, because bagpipes don't, don't only have advantages. <laughs> <laughs> and the hurdy-gurdy is... Absolutely superior, <laughs> just to be clear. <laughs> it's an unfair fight, it's obvious. Bagpipes are like cute and nice, and it's nice for an effect. But the Gertie, it's like your main dish. It's already Gertie time. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> There's a big solo part in the song we're recording right now, and Ever since I posted that one video on YouTube showing how my sympathetic strings sound when they're recorded from those pickups here, everybody's been begging me to play something like in a song only with that pickup sound to make these, this spooky ghost sound. We wrote a melody that's a little bit like brass instruments, like really mighty and epic and picture a cliff in a storm with an ocean and then like some brass instrument do, 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 do. that's the vibe we're going for <laughs> idea. It's kind of cheating, but um, <laughs> <laughs> now I'm just using like a matchy cue that matches two sources into each oh, other. Oh, that's cool! But, but only EQ wise, um, only like frequency fre fre frequency wise. Nice. Um, let me see. The current yeah. one is this here. No, he listens to the signal. So it's it's recording them basically. The yeah, kind of. Yeah, yeah. Analyzing them. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And now, please learn you. reference. Oh my God, that's so cool! And now it analyzes the the sound of the French horns. Exactly. Yeah, oh, that's the plan. I see. Nice. Okay. Oh wow, that's heavy processing. So it added a ton of treble, yeah. it took away in the bass region, and in the midst it's just a wobble. <laughs> yeah. So this is only equalizer action. Only equalizer action, yeah. I'm a bit afraid. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> it's Show me before and after. Bad. Oh wow, I actually think it's better than before. No, it's good. Can we hear it with the backing track? Yes. Thank you so much for tuning in this time for the song Under Kletinum. In the next vlog, you'll see the next songs and the meaning behind the songs. Bye bye! Bye bye! <laughs> if you want more Gertie, click here. Special thanks to my Patreon supporters at patreon.com slash for making life as an artist possible. See you next time. Bye bye!